hey guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new in today's video i'm going to be showing you some diy valentine's gift ideas that you can do for your loved ones if you don't have any ideas on what to get them i'll be showing you some ways you can use items from dollar tree using some candy from walmart that were bigger size than they had at the Dollar Tree. It's just a quick and easy do-it-yourself idea that you can use to create something for your loved ones on Valentine's Day. So stay tuned. Here I am, here are some clips from me. I went to Target and I found some different cute little DIY cooking things. They had a Reese's cookie skillet. They also had different chocolate covered strawberry dipping do-it-yourself boxes where it gives you all the supplies to make it. They had a cute heart shaped waffle maker. A mini bun cake maker that was cute and it was shown in red velvet. And they had different little cute decorations in Target. Then I went to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree had a nice selection of different cute little containers with different Valentine's Day designs on there. So that's where I mostly picked up most of my supplies from that I could use to make little baskets to get some of my loved ones. Dollar Tree had different boxes in different shapes and sizes, round, square, so it was a good selection. They also had basic. Dollar Tree had this cute flower box that was pink and I thought it was super cute and it looks like the expensive ones that you get and you order. So I picked it up also. I don't know if I'm going to use it or give it to somebody. I might just keep it for myself because it is cute. Okay, let's get started. You'll need some scissors, some type of tape. I'm using the, it's the type of paper tape. A hot glue gun you can use clear tape clear scotch tape and that's it here are some more materials i picked up decorative shred in red floral craft foam block decorative shred in white cooking concept stick if you can see they had this at the dollar tree in the cooking section they also had different types of ribbon. And this one was $3, but they have cheaper, more expensive options. I got these containers. They were cute. It says, be mine on the new. And I also got some little balloons that you can stick in there. I also have some little sticker things that I can. They had this bucket at the Dollar Tree. And this balloon. Ooh. First I'm gonna show how I'm making a little Valentine's Day bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the hot glue gun. And I usually try to put something up under the hot glue gun just in case it starts dripping. I start by taking things apart. First, I am taking the little foam block that I have. Instead of using the whole one, I have one that's already in a half. So if you want to cut yours in half to fit whatever container you're using, you can do that. So I'm just going in and I'm hot gluing the back of the foam square. And so after we hot glue gun the back of the foam square, I put it at the bottom of the container and press it on the back to make sure that it's sticking and it's going to stay. I'm going to take the little paper confetti that I purchased and first I'm using the white one just to build it up. So I'm pouring that in there and making sure it's all even and it's covering up that block. First, I'm using one stick and then after going along with it and trying to stick it into the bucket, I see that it needs at least two so it can be stable 
enough to hold all the weight of the candy so make sure you use at least two sticks when you're doing this i'm taking the sticks that i purchased to put the candy like the little the long candies on top of it so you can either hot glue gun it to the back or tape it i'm using this white paper tape because it's more thicker than the clear scotch tape to make sure that it stays well i'm just going in pre pulling the tape off and putting it on the end of the table so i can easily just grab it and tape 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 down as i'm doing each candy bar or candy bag and trying to make sure and tape it down to make sure that it's stable i'm doing some horizontal mostly the most horizontal and then i do one long strip along the whole piece of the candy to add support to the back of it here you'll just see me doing that for all of the candies just adding the sticks and remember to do two sticks and not one so i'll probably fast forward through this i also added the little these little valentine's day sticker thingies to hide some of the tape and it's also cute to stick on the little candy bar sticks to add a little extra sparkle and stuff to them after we got all of those candies stick down now we can start adding stuff to the bucket so i'm going to go in and stick the sticks in the foam and make sure it's secure next i'll take the colored one which i have red here and i'll take the red and sprinkle that over to add that little pop pizzazz to it here I'm going in and adding teddy bear and some Tootsie Rolls and some Mike and Ike's in there. I also found these cute heart shaped cold and hot packs that you can put on your eye. Here I'm just playing around with it, messing around, trying to see what I like. I'll probably play around with it until Valentine's Day or until it perfect to my liking and until it's stable. I want to make sure none of the tape is showing. Now I'm going in and adding some ribbon. They had a variety of different ribbons at Dollar Tree. And this ribbon cost $3, but you know, they had some for $1.25 and up. And you can get whatever color and kind you like. I just picked out this pink kind because it was cute to me. And then I'm trying to figure out how to tie it. You know, it's kind of hard to tie ribbon sometimes. So I'm just messing with it, messing around, trying to get it perfect. And then once I have it to where I want it on the container, I'm going to, you can either glue it or tape it on the back. I'm taking it, taping mine on the back. And then I'm also going to take the bow heads to the base so it can stick up and stay correct and cute. So here it is, the final product of this one. All right, so now we're going to do this black bucket that I have is a little bit bigger if you want to put more things in there. And I'm going in also adding the foam piece. I'm using the whole foam piece since this bucket is bigger. We're adding that foam. You can either hot glue gun it. I didn't want to hot glue gun it because the glue is hot and that's plastic. So I just went ahead and went in and taped for the four sides to the base of the bucket. After we have it taped correctly to the base of the bucket we're going to go in and add the paper stuff in again stuffing it to make sure that it covers that foam block and so after we have that covering the foam block we're going to go in and then add the sparkly confetti sparkly stuff to the top to make that pop okay and it's going to cover that whole thing you try to cover it and cover up that white as much as you can. Now I'm gonna take those stick candies and add them into the foam like before. Try to move them around, move them how I want them to be and how I want them to stick. I'm also gonna add other candies in there like the Sweet Tarts, the Jolly Ranchers and different things that you can add. I also added a little teddy bear that I put in the middle and a balloon that says, I love you on it. And I put that on the back and you can tape it on the back like we did in the other one to secure it. I also go in with some ribbon. Here I'm tying ribbon around the base of the bucket like before. Sizing it, making sure it fits right. I also tape the back of it and then I'll tape the two heads of the bow 
to the bucket to make sure that it looks good and it'll stay that way you can use any tape you want or you can even use the glue gun if you want to use it after all that is done and you are complete now you have your valentine's day gift it's cute you made it yourself with items from dollar tree so you save some coin a little bit of coin <laughs> i hope this helped you or gave you some ideas made you think of some creative things to do for this valentine's day And for all the people who may be feeling alone this Valentine's Day season or may not have someone to spend Valentine's Day with that recently went through a breakup or divorce, remember that you are not alone. God loves you and he is always with you at all times and he's always by your side. And he can be your Valentine's for this Valentine's Day season. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me other things you would like to see me create or other videos you would like me to do. Comment down below if you have any Valentine's Day plans this year or Valentine's Day plans. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and see you in the next video.